Hi everyone. There's been a lot of talk recently about the need to move your reports from ARC to Extra, and I feel like I've been talking about this for many years. So I thought I'd record a little video telling you what you need to do in simple terms. Clearly what I'm going to show you will be both simple and straightforward, and you can guess that sometimes this procedure actually takes days. But I'm making this demo mainly for you to have the process flow in your head, plus some of them really are that easy. So then, who am I? I'm Elizabeth. I'm a report writer with coming up for 30 years of experience in writing reports on the Unit 4, formerly Aggresso database. I'm also a trainer of other report writers, both partners, colleagues and customers. And as you can tell, I clearly started at a very young age. So what do I advise then? This is the order of things that I have found to be the most effective when you're wanting to migrate your reports. You need to fix your current report. You need to make sure that it's working. You then import that report into Report Studio, alter the code to match the latest style and convert the report. That bit's the bit that can take some time. And then you'll probably find that there are some things you need to fix in the output. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to be looking at a purchase order, standard purchase order that we're going to migrate. So as with all reporting nowadays, you really need to start with data. I have run a copy purchase order. Um, and I'm just going to have a little find of it here for you. What we need to go to here is the log file. So it's this button over here. I'm going to the log file because when I ran the report, I saved the data set and I need to point the report at that saved data set. It's a little bit of black magic you need to know to work out exactly which table it is, <clears throat> but I happen to know that it's that one. I'm going to go into my customized reports folder and open up my existing report and you get all the error message telling you, oh, it's been deprecated. Yes, I know. I know that's why we're doing this. I'm going to go into edit script and I'm going to log in as I go. And then once I'm in there, I'm going to locate the place where it tells me what the help table actual file is called. There it is. And I'm going to paste off my clipboard there, pop that in place. So that's the new file. When I say OK and I say preview, I should be able to see my report. Fingers crossed. OK, this is a nice and straightforward report. Quite often at this point, you'll get some errors. I, for example, don't have an invoice address. I'm going to ignore that at this point. But there you are, that's the first step done. Right then, so we can now close the report. We're actually going to import it into a new Report Studio file. So I'm going to go to here, I've got Report Studio on my toolbar. I'm going to say File, Import, and I'm going to bring both files in. So that's the actual report we were just looking at and the canvas. As it happens for this one, I don't really need the canvas, but I always bring it in as a good sort of exercise. And I'm just going to create a SQL file in here as well. I'm going to go and start editing things in the copy of the ARC report that I've got inside here. Do I want to convert it? Not yet. Patience. OK. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the script and I'm going to get hold of the parameters. I'm actually going to cut them out of there, which is a bit brutal, but I've got another copy of the report elsewhere, haven't I? And I'm going to go into my report studio report, and I'm going to paste those in there. I'll make it so that you can see them. I'm also going to get rid of any of these double quotes, because I happen to know that the double quotes are not used at all. And then I'm going to make this into a parameter. These are called parameter declarations because you literally declare. So each of these parameters needs to actually start with a dot declare. 
And instead of that comma after the word client, I need to say what type of data, uh, what type of parameter it is, what data type it is. And as it's a string, I need to enclose that alphanumeric in quotes. Same here. And the same on the last one as well. So we've got our parameters listed in here. We now need to go and get the query, but with RESQL, you need to wrap things. If you've got multiple lines, if you're doing all sorts of things, you need to wrap them. And we're going to wrap this query. If you type slowly, it helps you. It's got a little prompt that pops up. And I'm going to call mine data row. I'm going to pop back to my ARC report. I'm going to edit query. And I'm going to go and grab the whole of that query. And again, it looks like I'm being a bit brutal, but I've got a copy of it on the outside, don't forget. I'm going to paste that in. And then just because it's me and I twitch, I have to make it all line up properly. It's just a little tab. There you go. And you'll notice at the bottom of here, we've got reference to the parameters. So there it talks about the help tab. There it talks about the client. Those are the parameters we've just created. Excellent. And then back in our ARC report again, we're going to make some changes. So we did have a whole great big query in here. We're now just going to change it and make it very, very simple. Select star from, and then we need to type in the name of the query. I just forgot the name I was typing in for a minute there. I'm sure you'll forgive me. So change this to pick up your primary query. And then we need to go into script again. We've already got rid of the parameters or stopped them from working. And now we're looking at these two lines here where it says use typed parameters and AGR parser type. Essentially, we need to get rid of both of those lines and replace them with a single line. That single line is use data set only. Use data set only. And that should be all we need to do. We're going to close this and save it. We're going to refresh the data using that little pile of Oreo cookies and all the database button if you prefer. And um, I have to log in. And there's my data. Lovely. So now I can open this. It will be connected to the refresh data. And I get next again. And I should be able to preview this within the report studio file. There you go. I still don't have an invoice address, but you're not surprised, are you? So you have done what is commonly termed NARC your report. You've turned it into a new ARC report. Of course, we're not done yet, but it's working. I'm just going to save my report. I'm going to save it as PO01.RERX into my customized reports folder. Now, now we get to do the magic thing. Press the button that says, yes, I want to convert. And it's almost instantaneous. Did you see that? It's already happened. So over here then, we've got some files we need and some files we don't need. If we had not done our text, um, sorry, if we'd not done our parameters at this point, they would be included in the text. However, we've done them, so we don't need that. It's me getting rid of a lot of things. It's given me an entire file for my canvas, which is just a file for my lines and boxes from the report. If I had a particularly complicated report, I would go to here and I would copy them over onto my other report. You might have to do a little bit of argy-bargy because the software doesn't let you have two, arc, um, two what are they called, extra reports open at the same time. But you can get it to work. We knew I was going to trip up over those two words at one point, didn't we? Well, I've done it. I hope I don't do it again. So we're left with this, which is the one we really wanted anyway. And I'm going to get rid of the RPX because I don't need it to say that going forwards. So I'm just going to do that little bit of deleting there. So we've now got a PO01.REPX. Let's have a little look. So this should be our new report opening in extra, which is very exciting. I'm 
Well, this is your first view of your lovely, lovely extra report. In the top right-hand corner, you should be able to see a preview tab. You're going to hit that and we will get three errors. You almost always get errors at this point. And these errors that I've got are just that simple formulate have been missed. So I can view the log file and it will tell me that. Yeah, it always makes the um, formulate start with F and underscores. So me, in my very amusing way, call them funderscores. Um, yeah, I know I'm not funny, but I like to think I am. Right then, we need to go back into the edit mode and we need to find those errors. Now, because they're all Fs and underscores, they're quite easy to find when you can read your screen. I can see the three of them. Luckily, they've got lovely big icons still. So I'm going to right mouse on that and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to edit expression. It takes a little bit of time to open up, but once it's opened up, you will see that they have tried to put an expression in there. Now, what you do in the real world is you go into the old ARC report and you maybe copy it or you might have enough information here so that you can see what it's trying to do. Obviously, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be a Truly Peter fashion, I'm going to copy one I made earlier because you don't want to see me typing. Essentially, what ARC requires is that you do loads and loads of additional stuff that you just don't need in extra. So you're going to go into each one in turn and you're going to right mouse and you're going to edit the expression. And then you're going to fix that code and then you're going to move on to the next one. I know it's not exciting watching me do code, sorry. I could tell you a joke, but anybody who knows me knows I'm absolutely rubbish. I always get the punchline twisted. Okay, phew, didn't have to do jokes, we're done. So when we click on preview this time, if I can get my mouse on the correct screen, there you are. It still hasn't fixed the invoice address, but we knew about that, didn't we? But the report, now works. The only other thing that I'm going to do on this report is fix the lines and boxes. Well, not all of them, because again, you're watching me and it's quite tedious. But we've got these little stubby lines that stop at the edge of the section, or the group, or the band, or whatever you like to call it. They don't continue down. Now, that's obviously the job that the canvas used to do. I'm just going to do the box around the outside and a single line. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit by getting rid of a couple of things here. And what you're looking for are these boxes that are called cross band box. Now I could spend ages drawing these. I'm just going to draw really, really quickly and a bit messily. Promise I can draw them properly. Honest to goodness. Now that's still not going to be perfect, but that's pretty good. And the critical thing with this is you have to remember to make it say not both, but just that it's going to stick it onto the top. Otherwise, it has a bit of a hissy fit and gets really, really confused. It's the same with the line. So I'm going to delete that straightforward line that's there. I'm going to put in a cross band line over here on the left. And I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, these try and get a little bit wide, which is a bit naughty. They only need to be about three wide and you can squish them up after you've drawn them. And again, you need to change that setting in the cogwheel, not so that it says it's going to be attached to both, but so it just says it's attached to the top. And we're going to hit that preview and you should be able to see the line going all the way down to the bottom as well. OK, so that's all we're going to do in this. For the moment, we have converted your report. Yes, I want to save it. And I'm also going to go and save this because I'm paranoid. So we have migrated a report. And what did we do? Well, we sorted out the current report. We got data. We checked the code. We imported it into Report Studio. We took any 
ARC report and any Canvas files. We sorted out the declare statements. We sorted out the SQL to be moved to RESQL and we converted any macros that we had. Created a new data set. Made the old report say use data set only. And we ran the old report with the new data set. Then we finally converted. And then we had to fix the output. We had to fix the formulae when we tried to preview the report and we had to fix the lines and boxes. Okay, so if you're still stuck, what can we do to help you? We can train you on extra, we can give you report consultancy. We do have migration workshops that we tailor to each individual customer and we can do the full migration package for you. But whatever you're doing, you know that you need to migrate your ARC reports. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>